Well, I'm moving to the YouTube platform. Um, this is my very first video, well second, because Matt and I uploaded that 40 questions one. I am going to start posting regularly on YouTube. My goal is to do YouTube weekly. Um, that way I can show you guys and talk about the exercises we do and the meals we cook and other fitness tips and fun stuff. So this video is a back day with a, and then we made a teriyaki chicken casserole that I meal prep for the weekend. Um, so I'm really excited about it. We did a full back day and my back is still currently sore from that. And I'll walk you guys through that. And then I also walk you guys through the recipe and I'll have the links and everything below. Um, and then just be sure to give it a like, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I'm ready to get some subscribers. Um, like I said, we'll be doing this weekly. Okay. Thanks. Bye. A superset is when you go from one exercise to the next exercise without taking a break in between. For the first superset, you have a wide grip lat pull down. The idea is to pull the bar down to your chest to really engage the lats. You want to limit the sway. This first exercise is also a drop set, which means you're going to start with a heavy weight and decrease to a lighter weight each set three times. This will help cause muscle exhaustion. The next exercise in this superset is the close grip lat pull down. For the seated rows, you want to keep your back straight and pull the bar towards your belly button and really squeezing at the end of the rep. You're also okay to come forward a little bit and really get that nice, good stretch in. That really helps engage the lats. In the straight arm pull downs, you're going to do just like so. Straight arm, keep your arms straight and pull down. Arch your back a little, stick your butt out, panty line and all. You'll feel it straight in your lats. For underhand rows, you want to make sure to keep your back protected by arching it. Stick your butt out. Then you want for this exercise, you also want to make sure that you squeeze at the top and stretch at the bottom. This exercise is going to work your rear delts, so you want to pull the rope towards your face and really squeeze at the end. I really, really like to focus on the squeeze here to really engage the rear delt. The dumbbell bent over rows are a little more tricky than your standard barbell rows. Really want to limit the swaying here. You also want to arch your lower back again to protect it and really squeeze at the top of the set. For the seated rear delt, you want to make sure you watch hand position and elbow position. Make sure your elbows are locked in. Now to the recipe, and it was really, really, really yummy. I'm definitely prepping it again, so you should definitely try it, especially if you've been craving Chinese food like I have. I don't know where these cravings are coming from, but I want it like every week. Um, so it is a healthier alternative to Chinese food. It does have a little bit of brown sugar in it, but when you divide up a fourth cup of brown sugar throughout the whole recipe, it ends up 
being very minimal because um, it'll get us through about four meals. Matt eats a lot. So I'll probably eat it two or three times over the weekend. Um, mainly pre-workout and post-workout because of the rice. Um, so definitely try it. I'll link the recipe below. Teriyaki chicken casserole. Perfecto. Um, I like to do a casserole for my weekend meal prep, so this one caught my eye on Pinterest. And I think we're gonna give it a try. Take three fourths cups of low sodium soy sauce. And half a cup of water. And then a fourth cup of brown sugar. and a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. As you can see, I don't really measure much. And then all the garlic. And then just bring that to a quick boil. I fudged up, forgot the main ingredients, chicken and rice. Thought I had a quick fix for the rice, but then realized all of our chicken is frozen. So now I'm actually hungry and ready to eat. Real quick, a couple things I did differently on this recipe, which the recipe will be linked below, um, is I only did, it called for three cups of cooked rice. I only did two cups. And then in the recipe, it only calls for two small chicken breasts. I did three large chicken breasts because chicken over carbs, protein over here. Um, and then I also didn't have corn starch. I only have arrowroot starch, which looks like this. It's very, very messy. Um, and you do, I always put in half of what the cornstarch would be. So in this recipe, it was two tablespoons. I just put in one tablespoon of arrowroot. It's supposed to be healthier as well. I found this uh, teriyaki stir fry kit at Sprouts. And it looks like it has broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Oh, it says it right there. Yeah. Broccoli stock, Brussels sprouts, broccoli florets, red cabbage, kale. Hmm carrot, pea pods, and then teriyaki sauce. I don't think I'm gonna use the teriyaki sauce since I made my own for the chicken and rice. Um, Cause you gotta watch it there. It has seven grams of added sugars. Whereas mine, I mean, we did use the brown sugar already so we probably don't need it. So I'll probably just throw it away. But I thought this was a really good little kit from Sprouts. Saute the stir fry kit until the vegetables are semi soft. They are going in the oven so they don't need to be completely cooked through. Pour most of the sauce over the chicken and then shred it either with two forks or a mixer. In the casserole dish, combine the rice, the chicken, and then your vegetables, and then cook in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. Let's put it to the test. Can I just say I'm just excited that there's Brussels sprouts in here as well? Mm. 
this is it, y'all. Wow.